Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to create an external CSS style sheet for our website and it's based on a blog post on 101computing.net, the web address will appear on the video. If you think about it, this is our website so far, we've got five pages to our website and all of these web pages look fairly similar, only the content uh, will change, I haven't finished the content on every page, but basically what we have here is we have a complex layout using a header, navigation bar, content area and right panel. We have a color scheme and we've got um, CSS being used to customize the text, headings and paragraphs. Now let's look at the code for this website. Um, what we've done is we've used a lot of CSS that we've um, embedded into a style tag within the head section of our website and things like background color, uh, font size, font family, um, all of these properties are defined using CSS attributes and properties. Okay, for the different sections of the page, page header, navigation bar, right panel and so on. Uh, because all the web pages look the same uh, for consistency, this CSS code has been duplicated, has been copied and pasted five times. Uh, which is a bit annoying because if I now want to change the background color of my website, I've got to change it at five different places on every single file. And that's fine with a five page website, but imagine if I had 100 pages, that would become really, really time consuming. So we're going to solve this problem using an external CSS style sheet. I've got a, an animation to explain this concept. The idea of an external style sheet is that we're going to put all our CSS code into a file called style.css and then we're going to link this file to every single page that needs the CSS code. So for instance our index.html page, our contact.html page, our info.html page, they will all use the same style.css file. Now this is showing my folder structure for my website, so my website folder Inside I've got the five HTML pages and the images folder. I'm now going to add one more folder called CSS. And then using Notepad++ I'm going to create the style.css file. So going to Notepad++, I'm going to do a new file which I'm straight away going to File, Save As and I'm going to go into my website folder CSS I'm going to call this file style and I'm going to make sure it is a cascading style sheet which is CSS. Now you're going to find this one, that's the one here, cascading style sheet file CSS, style.css, perfect. Now what I'm going to do here is copy all of the CSS code from my index.html. I'm going to leave the style tag out of it, so just the CSS code quite a lot of it. Here we go. I'm going to cut this and I'm going to paste this into my style sheet. Paste. Okay. So my style sheet is now done. I can save it. My index page is now easier to read because it only has the HTML. I'm going to save that page and I'm going to now delete the code on every single page, the CSS code. And I will have to do that with all the pages. I'm not going to do that in that video because that would be quite repetitive. So now what I need to do is link the CSS style sheet into each of my pages, index.html and about.html and so on. And to do so, I'm going to use some code which you will find on the blog post I was referring to at the beginning of this video clip. Um, external CSS style sheet. Now, this is how our CSS code used to be into the style tag. We've decided to use another method, which is the external style sheet. Now you've got the code that I'm looking for here, which is a link tag, which you're going to copy. And you see this link tag is in the head section of the page. So into my code, I'm going into the head section of the page anywhere 
not within the style obviously but maybe after it I'm going to paste this so it's basically linking the style sheet which is in the CSS folder into my index.html page I'm going to do that and I'm going to have to repeat this on every single page so I'm going to paste that here save and I'm going to do that for every page so remove the CSS um, you could remove the style tag but I'm going to keep it just in case later on I'm adding some more inside it and I'm going to paste that here and I should do that with my contact page and my hotel page now if I refresh my browser um, I shouldn't see any difference for my website so I'm going to refresh reload the page and basically you won't notice any difference the benefit is for you which means at this stage if you want to change the look and feel of your website you can do it from a central place that external style sheet you can change your background color and every single web page will automatically update because they all use the same code here we go thanks for watching